Hello everybody, uh, this is Gam, and this is my first video in uh, quite a long time. Uh, right away, you'll probably notice that my clan castle <laughs> does not say the Black Lodge on it. That is not because I've left the Black Lodge. You might also notice that the name in the top left is not Gam. That is because uh, this is a different account. Uh, I'm going to do videos from both clans now as I show you my account is still just fine. Yep, so I'll be recording on this directly after I record this. Uh, two more recaps to bring myself back into YouTube after uh, I believe it's been three months, over three months now. So, Art of War is an, an Alliance clan, an allied clan of the Black Lodge, and they're an all Town Hall 10 clan, unlike the Black Lodge, which are a mixed clan of Town Hall 9s and Town Hall 10s. So, uh, I guess we'll just look. Um, yeah, so this is uh, the clan description, more of clan specialists, uh, recruitment line is that if you want to join. Uh, just a heads up, you have to have a completely max base, uh, other than walls have to be all at least level 10, I think, uh, to join. And then uh, we also have an official Art of War YouTube, and Piano uh, has a YouTube for VN Champions, an allied clan, that also shows some of our raids for big wars. So uh, let's uh, check out our, our war log here in Art of War. Uh, I joined Art of War 24 days ago. My first war here was this Templar Knights War. Uh, and as you can see, their war log is completely and totally green, except for uh, a beatdown from MKMA, but the war after, throwing a beatdown on In the Dark. So yeah, good stuff there. Uh, we are 76 0 and or 76 2 and 0, I believe. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. With a loss to Fu, uh, with a loss to Shen and a loss that lost to MKMA. Uh, so today I'm here to show you replays from our war with Indo Celestial. Uh, Indo Celestial used to be one of the top clans in the game, uh, as far as war clans go. Now they're more of a push focus clan, but they use decent bases and. Uh, I want to show some attacks, <laughs> you know. So uh, uh, we did 14 0 3 stars, uh, didn't use 10 of our attacks, took this war pretty casually. Uh, so I'm just going to show around 3 to 5 replays, I guess. Uh, so first we'll show uh, King, our number 42, one of our co leaders, uh, doing a nice attack on their very number one base. Now, uh, it's been a long time since I've done more commentaries, uh, attack commentaries like this, and the game has changed a lot since I have. So, excuse me, <laughs> I might not uh, be that great at it. So, the first thing you'll notice on this base is a single target Inferno, which means uh, it's a mistake. You usually don't want that. So that's the first thing you notice. And because of that, uh, I'm not really going to talk about much else because it's such a glaring flaw on the base that it's really the only thing worth mentioning. Uh, so otherwise it's a fine fine looking base design. So he's going to start with Queen Walk. <laughs> Queen Walks uh, were still a thing last time. Um, yep, so it's going to break in these wall breakers here and I imagine he'll send in a second pair of wall breakers once his queen dives into this compartment here. Sending the queen in to kill the king or to kill the enemy queen. Meanwhile, his king comes in from the top to clear out um, some a few defenses, but more importantly, to lure and distract the lava hound, as he's going to do with an archer. A rage on the healers and the queen to buff her up. Freezes to uh, counteract the inferno's cancellation of the heal, and then I imagine he will pop the queen's ability. Oh no. Okay, as soon as the uh, the king or the queen targets, he'll probably pop the ability to kill both the queen and the king. And here that goes. King goes down, and king's queen takes the queen. <laughs> uh, 
and his queen's going to do a little bit more work while the balloons start. So he left himself with two free spells and two haste spells to loon three air defenses. Usually trying to loon three air defenses is a problem, but because the top air defense is so isolated, um, it won't it won't be that bad. <laughs> so a haste spell to make sure uh, the wizard tower doesn't do too much and the uh, blower doesn't blow too much. Freeze spell on the air defense because it's a single target inferno, which means you don't really have to freeze it as long as you uh, don't have it targeted, you know, too much by stuff. And then the loons will all path right to this last uh, air defense. And the lava pups will take out that last air skelly, or one of the second last. There's the last one. And then it's just clean up. So a beautiful attack by King. Taking out their number one, 100, 100,000k, 100,000k, 100k base. Uh, so uh, as we'll go to the next attack, let's watch. Oh, this, this might be a hog attack, so we would like to watch that. No, it's not. But oh, it's a. This is a new <laughs> type of attack that didn't exist last time I made videos. Uh, a zap quake, CC zap quake raid. Uh, so what it'll probably do is zap right about there to kill the queen, the CC, and that uh, inferno. So let's see him do it as the queen approaches. All the spells are going to be dropped as fast as possible. Yep, there they go. And the queen will be dead. So now the uh, rest of these raids are pretty simple. So I'm just going to kind of talk over um, the background about some stuff. So as far as uh, my plans for this channel now is back, I'm going to be showing war recaps, not for every war, for either clan, but for interesting wars. Uh, and I'll try to do occasional videos of other things other than war recaps, um, just to be, you know, more uh, educational, I guess. Uh, something I want to do is I want to talk about Town Hall 10 base designs because it's something so few people have a grasp on, and uh, I'm I feel like I'm getting a pretty good grasp on it as I do more and more of it. So that's kind of some knowledge I'd like to share with the community because uh, you see lots and lots of bases like this base here. I've seen this base used you know 20 times or 10 10 times before in other wars. Because there's so few people that actually make their own bases at Town Hall 10, just because it's it's difficult, but it's not that difficult. Uh, there's there's tricks to it, I guess. So yeah, and another thing as far as talking about the use of third-party applications, um, such as sandboxing in my channel, uh, it's not something I really want in my comments, and it's not something I'm going to talk about. We all already know what we know. You know, um, but as far as my personal opinion on it, I'm sure you are all aware of that already. But I'll say that uh, if I were Supercell, I would uh, implement sandbox attacks into the game natively. That's that's how I would do it if I was Supercell, and that's the the end of that sort of discussion. Uh, so if you do talk about that stuff in my comments, I will delete them because that's not what this channel is for. Uh, Channel's not for any sort of debates. It's for fun and uh, learning. So, yeah. So, pretty awesome attack there by Vic the Punisher. Uh, is it his birthday today or is it Beast's? I don't know. It might be his birthday today. It's one of the two. One of the two beaners. <laughs> um... We'll skip over GoPro's attack for no reason other than I don't want to only show the top five. Let's uh, let's go. Let's do one from the bottom because they're all. Oh yeah, okay. We'll show Jordan. That's probably be a good attack. Now Jordan is the only member in our clan without Max Heroes. Uh, he refuses to upgrade his Barbarian King, but he is an amazing attacker, and that's why. <laughs> we don't force him to upgrade his Barbarian King. So, uh, another Queen Walk here. Pretty standard stuff for this type of war. Uh, 
these uh, bases with corner motors like this are popular because no one knows how to do the the go wee wee jump heel ho crazy ass MKMA raids that were a thing uh, a long time ago. <laughs> pretty, pretty much everyone's forgotten how to do them. I've seen one done since the spell, uh, the dark spell update, which kind of killed him. Now, uh, neutralizing a giant bomb there, not that it matters, because it's an air raid. Uh, this queen's going to bang this wall, walk in this compartment, and imagine she'll take out that air defense. Probably the enemy queen, too. Yeah, he's going to use that goblin to lure the queen. Oh, that's, that's interesting. I like that. Because it'll pull her to her maximum range. Queen retargets. And that's all he wanted, I think, with his lure. I think he's going to loon the rest. Yep, he'll loon the rest of the base, which is a pretty big uh, loon. He'll certainly drop a freeze on this inferno to keep his queen alive, right? No? Okay, he lets his queen die. So he is really going to loon three air defenses, but he has lots of spells, so he should be fine. Uh, loon's taking quite a bit of damage. Uh, we missed his BK over here, I think. Uh, no, he didn't. Yeah. He, BK was used to just clean out that compartment. And uh, really good looning here. Uh, all the hounds are down, but that air defense is the last threatening thing up, and it goes down with a ton of loons left, and easy overkill three-star from Jordan. Uh, so, absolutely great raid by him. Ugh. A little tired. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, Capstar, the Storm, Chris, King again, Robots. Uh, I was trying to guess what's going to be a hog raid. We'll back out of this as if it isn't a hog raid. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Jack probably didn't do a hog raid. Yep. Hog raid? No. We might not have done any hog raids this war, actually. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> I should have. King never hogs. Well, check. Yep. You can see the lightning spell raids are very popular. They're definitely the easiest raids to do if you can get a good value with them. Uh, okay, this is different. This is a goho, or not a goho. This is a this is a stoned laloon, which is a very strange raid actually. So um, I'm glad we saw this one. This is much more exotic than a hog. Uh, plenty of plenty of hog, hog raids to show from TBL. Arvor seems it's it's mainly a mainly an air raiding clan, I guess. Not by any sort of choice, and not because we only have, <laughs> like, a few people and they all do air raids. Just that everybody does air raids, with the exception of, like, maybe five out of, like, 40 people. So, you know, uh, you'll see mostly air raids. In Black Lodge, I'd say the majority of our three-star guys are hoggers. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um... I do both myself, <laughs> but I'm not very good at either. Uh, whatever, whatever's easier for the base. Okay, so his kill squad. Look at that kill squad. That was ridiculous. I was kind of distracted by talking, but look at that. A jump and, you know, one spell and three golems just took out, like, the entire damn base. That was amazing. This is a, this is a fantastic raid. It's great. Um, hound on the air defense, bring it down, missed the free spell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice job. Uh, on an otherwise absolutely beautiful raid, but it doesn't really make it any less beautiful. It makes it even more impressive just because of how much of an overkill it is. Uh, last two defenses are screwed, and that was a just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful raid. I don't, I don't have that sort of creativity. I just do... <laughs> usually just pretty standard armies. That was nuts. So awesome raid by the storm. Uh, we'll show one more. We'll show Chris's raid. Yep, not 
hogs. Okay, another lightning raid. That's good, because I only showed one, and it's the most popular strategy. So if you're coming here to learn, uh, this is good. So as you can see, with his lightning, he got an, an air defense, an inferno, and the queen, uh, and a couple, something else, uh, probably like an archer tower or something. Uh, <laughs> I didn't see, and I'm, I'm not going to go back to check. But yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It wasn't an archer tower. Uh, it's probably just trash building then. Um, yeah. So, he does that, and then his goal with his uh, kill squad, he's going to want to get two air defenses, or an air defense in an inferno. And then, that's usually enough to loom with one uh, haste spell left. If you uh, want to get the CC, which is five zaps and an earthquake, or two earthquakes and four zaps, uh, you really have to get two air defenses and both infernos, and usually one sweep or two, uh, to be able to do the loons. But if you do get that with your kill squad, the loons are easy. So that's why this is the uh, the most popular strategy right now. So he's gonna nab that air defense there, and he's only gonna have yeah he's gonna have one inferno and one air defense to loon against, which is uh, plenty good value. So uh, yep. I actually remember watching this attack live now that I saw that he took out three air defenses. Uh, this is a really cool raid, actually. I'm glad I chose it. So the loons are going to zoom in there. They're going to sidetrack a little bit to the wizard tower, but then the haste is going to zoom in into the air defense, and then they're going to split perfectly so that these three should be taking out the, uh, the inferno tower, no problem. He's starting some loons on the other side here and uh, still holding two and four minions for cleanup. The last two loons go down. Their goal to take out the wizard tower because that's the last big threat left up on the base. Uh, the last expo getting pooped on. The last Tesla going down, and that's all the defenses, and then it's just time. As we watch the, uh, the loons and pups do their thing like they do so often. <laughs> in so many three-star raids. So yeah, beautiful attack there from Chris. So uh, yeah, we're going to call it there because I don't want this video to get too long. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Shunk 14, Town Hall 10, three-stars would take a while. And yeah, uh, ain't nobody got time for that in a, in a war that wasn't the most exciting war ever. If this was, uh, you know, in the dark, <laughs> versus Art of War, part four, uh, yeah, I'd show it. I'd show every raid and spend, like, make a three-hour video, but it's not. So I'm going to call it here, and I'm going to go uh, upload a war recap from the Black Lodge, and I will be uploading both of them tonight. So if you see this, that means that the other one should be up by the time you've watched from <laughs> the start of this to the end, probably. So I'm going to upload them at the same time. So anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Clash with Gam. I am back from my hiatus and glad to be doing YouTube once again. Have a good day.